Hi, I'm Sam from Sort of Interesting. And recently I've lost five and a half stone. So I took myself off to Turkey in January and I went to the Ecol Hospital for a gastric sleeve. Dan thought this might be a little bit interesting to talk about and make a video. So here it is. Much to your joy. Yes. This isn't an advert, by the no, way. No, it's not an advert. So I paid 2,800 and that included the flights, all my pickups, the hotel, they took me back and to. Really good service, to be fair. Um, the operation itself, it was okay, yeah, well, I was all right, but the gas pain was not my friend at all. For about 48 hours, I was in a lot of pain with gas. But I was well enough to travel home um, and straight into my own bed, which was lovely. Um, and yeah, it, it was definitely a worthwhile thing. I'm off blood pressure tablets. My arthritis is so much better now in my knees and ankles because obviously I'm not carrying all that extra weight. And um, yeah, you get better clothes. <laughs> so basically I had the gastric sleeve and they took 80% of my stomach with the bikini line procedure. So I've got three incisions, one in my belly button, one to the bottom of my bikini line here at the front and one to the side. I came home and I was on fluids for two weeks, puree for two weeks, and then two weeks of solids. Now I'm no doctor, but when they say you can't have carbohydrates, I was wiped out. So it took me a good five weeks to come round and get feel like myself again. And obviously I'm always gonna have to take vitamins and all the rest of it because I'm not getting the nutrient anymore. Um, but that old saying, eyes bigger than your belly, is definitely real because now I have no belly really, but my eyes and my head still want the food. So I do find if I eat too much, I'm, I'm in, I get a bit of pain in my chest and I feel quite sick. But touch wood, I haven't been physically sick like I know a lot of people can be. Um, but overall, I'd say it was probably one of the best things I've ever done for myself. And now, fingers crossed, when I go to the hospital, they, they'll tell me that my sleep apnea is gone because the weight's gone. And it will have really made it all worthwhile. So obviously, before I went, I did a lot of research into the actual hospital. I followed a lot of people on social media that had had the operation. And the majority said they never felt hungry anymore. And I, of course, was hoping that would be me. But I'm not one of the lucky ones. I'm hungry about every two hours. And I mean, I feel ravenous. But then, you, you know, you make yourself this plate of food and I'm only eating as much as my two-year-old granddaughter, basically. But it is constantly trying to top up and making sure I'm eating some good stuff. And protein is the massive one. Um, but I still struggle with chicken um, and other meats because they do feel like they're getting stuck. Yeah, so now I eat little and often. Um, and I think that's about it. But sorry if Gizmo's been distracting. He's running riot while we're making this film, bless him. He's seven months old now and it's a bit of a handful, but we wouldn't be without him. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video and I hope it's of interest to somebody. Take care.